Hi everyone, it's Karina and welcome back to the channel. So it is supper time and I am going to be using some food pantry items uh, to make this meal and I'll show you what I'm using here in a couple minutes. So a couple of you had commented that you wanted to know how a California girl ends up in Wisconsin. So on January 24th I will be posting a video and telling you how I ended up here in Wisconsin. And you'll understand why on that date, when it happens. <laughs> so, uh, also, I thought it'd be a good time to do a Q&A, question and answer. Um, you can ask me questions about myself or Glenn or us, um, but you'll be finding out about us. And... Yeah, just do a Q&A. You can ask pretty much anything. I don't think there's anything I have to hide. Um, and then on that January 24th video, I will also answer those questions. So you can start uh, throwing questions out uh, in the comments section. And I'll be writing them all, all down and answering them for you on January 24th. Okay? So other than that, let's get to the ingredients of tonight's uh, food pantry meal. Okay, here are, are the ingredients for our meal tonight. Can you take a guess at what it is? All right, so we have a bag of Tostitos here, and we received that from the food pantry uh, probably a month ago or so, maybe even longer than that. So we're going to be using that. And this is a pound of ground beef. It's thawed out. I thawed it out today. So we're going to be using that, which uh, we also received from the food pantry. And we got some sour cream from the food pantry. And then everything else is things we had in our, our pantry. So we got some uh, jalapenos. We got a jar of taco sauce, which I'll be using in the ground beef. We got a can of refried beans. And we got two cans of nacho cheese. One jalapeno for Glenn and one mild for me. And then we got a couple avocados for some guacamole. All right. So I am going to be making some nachos tonight, and as you can see, half of the items uh, we had in our pantry and half of the items came from the food pantry. So I would say the big items like the ground beef, which is making this taco meat, is the main ingredient there. Okay, so let me get set up here and stay tuned. All right, everyone, so I'm going to make the guacamole. I'm only going to make one. Uh, we normally don't eat two, and this, this is already going bad. So um, I did cut up a black olive for Glenn's nachos. He likes to have black olives, and I cut up the jalapenos for him as well. Okay, what I'm going to do with the nacho cheese is I'm just going to put, <laughs> put each one in a bowl and just microwave it so the cheese is at least warm. All right, so I'm just going to, and I don't make the guacamole with anything special. Um, basically, a little lime juice, some salt, just a tad bit of water. Um, I know a lot of people add, like, guacamole seasoning and onion and tomato and all that, but I don't. <laughs> Sometime I will, but, but anyway... We don't eat as much guacamole as we used to. I actually eat the avocado more so uh, whole in a tortilla. Or not whole, but cut, cut up in slices. So, oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I had a little can of olives. So, and it's a good thing um, I didn't use them all. And I'm going to use the rest on Saturday. Uh, we went ahead and planned our meals for this week, and we're on pretty much on target with what we planned on eating. And tomorrow I'll be making, uh, taking some of the chili cheese sausages. Is it chili cheese sausages from the food pantry? And I'll be making them with. Uh, I don't know if it's. Did we decide with sauerkraut, potatoes, and onions, or just on a hoagie roll with sauerkraut? I'll have to check with Glenn what we decided. But um, Friday I'm going to do a fish fry. 
And then uh, Saturday, we're actually going to make a taco pizza here at home. So the rest of that can of olives will be used in that. So, yeah. All right. So let me get this thrown away. All right. So, yeah, that was just one avocado. Just going to throw a little bit of salt in there. This is uh, just lime juice. And lime juice, when you use it with avocado, actually keep, uh, allows the avocado to keep its color. So like if you let avocado sit out, guacamole or avocado as a whole sit out, it turns brown. The lime juice actually uh, makes it keep its color of green. Alright, I'm just going to smash it up. So when we make our taco pizza on Saturday, I'll be using the pork taco meat that we received from the food pantry. And we received, it was like a, a big bag. And I usually just cut them in half because we don't eat it all at once. You know, we already used half of it for just some soft pork tacos. And if you don't have a masher, you can use a fork and just mash them that way. But like I said, we don't eat as much guacamole as we used to. When I buy avocados, I usually like buy them with the intention of just eating them, slicing them and warming up a flour tortilla and eating them in there. All right. So that's done. So everything is pretty much ready. So you can see I took down all the Christmas stuff here. Looking kind of bare. I did leave a couple snowmen up because it is winter here in Wisconsin. So my holiday table, I took down the Christmas stuff, but it, I did leave some uh, snowman and winter stuff up. I want to make some uh, snowflake stuff and things like that. So and I got my old tins there. So yeah, and I think I'm going to keep this part as my uh, music slash uh, video area. Because when I wash dishes or I'm cutting vegetables, I like to either listen to music or or uh, watch videos on the little tablet there. So, all right. All right, I'm going to go tend to the meat and I will be back. Okay, so we have our taco meat right here, and I just uh, mixed in some taco sauce. I'm just going to let that simmer a little bit. You don't want it too juicy. Then over here, have our refried beans. And this is going to kind of be like a Nacho Bell Grande from Taco Bell, but better. All right, folks, so I have the tortilla chips on here. Now, normally I would fry our own tortilla chips for our nachos, but I knew we had this bag from the food pantry, so why not use that? All right, so I warmed up uh, Glenn's cheese here. I'm just going to spread it all over. Okay, so now I'm going to put some ground or some taco meat and some beans. is uh, bigger than a Nacho Bell Grande from Taco Bell. Now we'll throw some sour cream on there. Throw some guacamole. Mm. 
then throw some olives. Just kind of spread them all out. We didn't have any tomatoes. So what we don't have, we don't use, I guess. <laughs> and then throw some jalapenos on there. All right, there you have it. Nachos. <laughs> That's a plate of nachos. All right, everybody. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video of homemade nachos, uh, items used from the food pantry. So I gave Glenn his plate, and he said, wow, that's enough for five of me. <laughs> so, so let's see if he eats it all. All right, so again, thank you so much for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate all of your support. And thank you to everybody um, for saying a prayer for Sarah. I, I really, really appreciate it, and I'm sure it's going to make her feel good and lift her spirits as well. So thank you. Thank you so much. I knew you guys would come through on that. I had no doubt whatsoever. So, all right. So remember also to start dropping your questions for the Q&A. Uh, being held on January 24th. I will do the video in the early afternoon and I will even post it that evening or late afternoon, whatever. So, okay. So ask anything you want. I don't think I have anything to hide. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, have a good night. Remember to live life. Take care of yourself and be good to others. Until next time.